Hey, it's Raf. I'm a trans dude. I'm over a year on T, over a year post op, and I'm just trying to live my life. And for today's video, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of being a dude, for better or worse. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, this is mostly for entertainment purposes. Experiences may vary from person to person, gender to gender, non-gender to non-gender. I just want to talk about the joys and the oopsies of being a dude now. Pros and cons, I'm going to talk about three pros and three cons and then go from there. The first pro to being a dude, I can put my drink down at a bar and look away for a sec and not really worry about it being spiked. I realized that when I was in like this recreational like arcade bowling kind of space and I put my drink down because they weren't allowing us to bring our drinks to the bowling area and so I bowled, went back to my drink and realized, whoa, just left my drink here. Pro number two, I am not in the radar of the creepy dudes anymore. Not that I typically was because I was already pretty butch before transitioning. But yeah, I can be hanging out with my friends and they might be more femme presenting than I am and some dude's gonna like just wander over and chat them up and I'm like invisible. Third pro, I kinda like already felt this to a certain extent before transitioning when I was already pretty masked anyway, but it's still something that I fear slightly less and also because i have like a bit of a background in some martial arts some stuff like that i typically didn't feel this fear i mean i'm not like careless either i'm still safe as much as possible but like regardless i have less of a fear of being in danger in a dimly lit street quite the opposite now i will cross to be on the other side of the street if there's like someone else on the other side who might be intimidated by my <laughs> presence now for the three cons of being a dude the first one is the bathrooms. Holy cow. The bathrooms are awful. We are disgusting animals. I don't know, like, are they just bad at aiming? But also when they sit down, there's trash everywhere. Like, why is there toilet paper in the bowl and under the bowl and around the bowl? And like, whose shoe is this? Like, I don't get it. Why are we such slobs in there? Did not deal with anything anywhere near as bad when I used to go to the women's washroom. So, yeah. Male bathrooms, not it. Second con of being a dude, similar to what I mentioned earlier, is I intimidate people more now. I've always come off really strong <laughs> and I do tend to seem more aggressive than I actually am feeling. I tend to come off like I'm angry when I'm not really angry yet. So now, I feel like I have to be much more aware of my tone, of my stance, of my word choice, of my like posture and like my pace because people are more intimidated by me now. Third con of being a dude, similar, is people are more suspicious of me. Strangers, security, staff at a store, they might be like a little bit more aloof around me. That's something I kind of feel like I notice a little bit more now. And I'm trying to be more like conscious of how I like come off. So that's three pros and three cons of being a dude. And it can pretty much be summed up to the patriarchy and male privilege and <laughs> the space I exist in as an immigrant person of color. So that's about it for today. A quick fun video. Fun. Ish. If there's more pros and cons that you can think of, throw them at me in the comments section. Otherwise, subscribe if you think we deserve better bathrooms. Or like, at least maintain them better. Or also, can we just stop being slobs? Either way, have a good day. See you in my next video. Bye!